Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. I posted a video near the end of August last month that PowerToys was getting a new look for Windows 11, and at the time of posting that video, Microsoft said they were going to update the tool with a new Windows 11 user interface. Now, version 45, which is the latest update to PowerToys, has just started rolling out recently, and we can clearly see that the whole app has received a new Windows 11 look and feel. We can see the fluent design on the rounded corners on the thumbnail, the menus, even the icons for each tool have received the fluent design look and feel of Windows 11. And I did touch a little bit on that in that previous video. Now, just quickly, if you don't know what PowerToys is, in the general description, Microsoft PowerToys is a set of utilities for power users to tune and streamline their Windows experience for greater productivity. And if you'd like to know a little bit more about it, I have posted numerous videos previously on this channel regarding PowerToys. Now, version 45 is clearly a major update uh, to the PowerToys app. And the main feature update would be that visual redesign to look like Windows 11. And over and above the visual redesign, in version 45, uh, Microsoft says the update is centered around stability updates, optimizations, installer updates, general bug fixes, and accessibility improvements. Now, if we just head back to the general settings menu, just quickly to touch on some of these, you can check for updates, you can download updates automatically, you can turn that on or off, you can um, always run as administrator, which I always suggest to leave on. You can choose your appearance and behavior, Windows default, light and dark, and you can run at startup, I like to leave that off. And then if we just click on some of the uh, tools and utilities, we can clearly see in each setting and menu for each uh, tool and utility that uh, it is also taken on the Windows 11 visual redesign. So the whole app has been upgraded visually. And also there are some uh, changes to how the layout of each tool looks in the settings menu for each tool. Now, if we just head over to GitHub quickly, where uh, Microsoft maintains and develops PowerToys, over and above all the uh, you know, stability updates, optimizations, bug fixes, and so on. Microsoft says, we also worked extensively with the community to build an updated settings menu UR. This UR update takes advantage of the latest styling elements to provide users with a refreshed, modern experience navigating the various utilities and their settings. And as a side note here, they say an experimental version of PowerToys version 46 will roll out in the second week of September and will include an updated version of video conference mute. So if you use PowerToys, that'll be something to look forward to. Now, in the release notes here, we have our main changes in the change log, and then you have your general updates, improvements and fixes. And then each tool itself has received updates and fixes and performance enhancements as mentioned. And basically each tool has received its uh, updates to each section. And then at the bottom, if you don't currently use uh, PowerToys, you can go download the app and try it out for yourself. And I will leave a link to this, uh, uh, re these release notes and change log over on, uh, over on GitHub. I will leave a link down below for you to go check out more in depth uh, if you are interested. And if we just head back to PowerToys, if you are new to PowerToys, you can just click on Welcome to PowerToys and you can just click on each tool and it will give you a description of what each tool and utility actually does. And then if you are already have PowerToys, uh, you know, you currently have the previous version installed, you can use the built-in updater to get this latest update. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.